And from the national headquarters of RT America in our nation's capital, hello again, everybody. I'm Rick Sanchez. Out with Moreno is what they're screaming. These are the images from Quito, the capital of Ecuador, where protesters over the last 24 hours have been taking to the streets, calling their president a puppet who sold out uh, Julian Assange for money. They chanted out, out with Lenin Moreno, while also chanting that the dignity of their country has been uh, destroyed by what they call a backdoor deal for oil and money, presumably done between their president and somehow uh, bankers and Washington. Now, these protesters that you've been seeing say Moreno allowed himself to be corrupted by them. Meanwhile, that's Moreno. You see him right there. He held a news conference for his part defending his actions with new accusations against Julian Assange. Now, what he says is that Assange was meeting with and planning more hacks while he was still living in, the, uh, in their embassy, the Ecuadorian embassy in London. And then there's the question of the charges against Assange especially those leveled by the U.S., which is causing some backlash now from organizations all over the world who defend press freedoms and the principle of free speech. And while most of what Assange published in WikiLeaks is embarrassing to our government because it reveals mistakes, even atrocities in places like Iraq, none of it has been proven to be in any way factually incorrect. So that, in, in essence, what that means is that Assange was publishing the truth. So ask yourself if a person should be jailed for telling the truth. And think about it for a minute. And then there's another part of the conspiracy charges against Assange that has gotten not that much attention. And this has to do with collaborating with or protecting someone he's getting information from, what is called, journalistically speaking, a source, right? Should Assange have gone to the police and turned in Army Private Manning for leaking information? That's an important part of what we're going to be focusing on tonight as we drill down on the arrest of Julian Assange right here on the News with Rick Sanchez, where it's time to do news again. I'm Rick Sanchez. You found us on YouTube, and that's awesome. But you know what? I'm also live every night at 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern on DirecTV and DISH and cable and satellite, the RT app, oh, and Pluto TV. I'll see you there.